So we're going to balance this reaction here, MnO4 minus plus SO3 2 minus, and we're going to balance it in basic medium. So I've already done it in acidic medium here, and you can see that H plus, that tells us we're in acidic medium. If you need help with this, there's a link to the video where I actually go through and balance in acidic medium all of the steps to get this answer here. So what we do to balance in basic medium, we can go through and get it all the way to the end to acidic medium, and we just add one step. Some teachers might have you add the step earlier. You'll get the same answer either way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two hydroxide ions to cancel out the two hydrogen ions. So two OH minus, and that's what makes it a base, that hydroxide here. And that's going to cancel out the H plus. But I did this to the reactants. I have to also add two of these hydroxide ions here in the products I have to do it to both sides. We're balancing things, right? Now the hydroxide ions and the hydrogen ion we have a base and an acid. They neutralize and they're going to give us two HOH and HOH. That's just H2O. So let's replace this here with our two H2O. And that's the balanced redox reaction for MnO4 minus plus SO3 2 minus in basic medium. And you see we have the base over here. We have our products, we have our reactants here, all of our products here. If you count all the atoms up on each side, each type of atom is the same. If you look at the charge, it works out to be the same on both sides. Everything's balanced. And because we have this hydroxide here, this OH minus, two of them here, this is in basic medium. If you need help with any of this, go over to Breslin.org, my website here. I have step-by-step -step guides, lots of practice, lots of videos and stuff, all on doing redox reactions and doing them really well. This is Dr. B, balancing the redox reaction MnO4- plus SO3- in basic medium. Thanks for watching.